Are you violating Uber's terms and conditions? Let's talk about it. Welcome everyone, Mark here from Uber Hints, and the buzz for the past few days has been the new updated uh, policies and referrals. And I opened my app today, and guess what I saw? A brand new one just came in this morning. So I am going to read this to you. And by the way, I am coming at you from Ontario, Canada. And in just a minute, I'm gonna show you something really cool in my room. But first, let's get the Uber business taken care of. So I'm gonna show you my screenshots here. You can see what I'm reading from. We've updated our referral terms and conditions, effective starting 11 Two. So we've got about a month to figure out how do we want to deal with this or are we going to deal with it at all? It says view the terms and the first thing we see here is by accepting and sharing your referral code or by signing up with a referral code, you're agreeing to be bound by these rules. Whether you read them or not, you are bound by the rules and everything I'm going to read here is not necessarily about referrals, but it's all tied to referrals. Because what it's saying is if you accept a referral, whether you're a rider, a driver, a referring person, or a person accepting the referral, all of those constitute accepting and sharing the referral code. Now, this next thing is really significant. Any violation of these rules will not only prevent you from participating in any Uber referral program now or in the future. So what they can do is cut you off. But this next thing, wait till you hear this but could also result in the forfeiture or retraction of Uber credits, money, or other rewards earned through the program, and even the deactivation of your account. So if Uber determines that I have violated these rules, these regulations, it can retroactively pull all of my money. It can take it all back. Of course, they'd have to get my bank account, so it wouldn't always be that easy but they could prevent me from moving forward and earning money and whatever was yet to be paid out, I suppose they could not pay. And I'm talking about my earnings because they could say, no, that was the money we're removing is referral money that we paid in the past. And now Mark broke the rules. That is a real scary one. That's really giving so much power to Uber saying that, any violation of these rules could result in forfeiture and retraction of Uber credits, money, or rewards earned. Refers invitees cannot request themselves as Rider Uber Eats user. In other words, I can't, if I'm an Uber driver, say I want to start using Eats now and I can't refer myself as a user of the service. Neither can I say I'm going to start driving for Eats and try to set up a new account under a different name. So essentially what that's saying is you can't have multiple accounts. Now, this next one is another troubling one. Uber is doing some things here that I think are, are really, really bad, really unfair. They're not in keeping with um, the intent, I think, of a referral program. Uber has a right to limit the number of times you may use or share the referral code based on the referral program which you participate. So you can tell me, I'm sorry, Mark, I, I think you're using it too many times. Isn't that the point of a referral service? A referral incentive is to get as many drivers, as many riders, as many users of your service as possible. Now they're saying if someone is too successful at this, yeah, we'll cut them off. So much for the simple driver saying you can make $10,000 a month, right? To see if your code has a limit, it says you can refer to the terms of the specific referral program in which you are participating, but it also says later on, as you'll see, it does not have to let you know up front. It can, you know, just change it at the drop of a hat whenever it feels like it. Uber wants you to share your referral code and earn referral rewards, but referral codes must be used only for personal and non-commercial purposes. It doesn't sound to me like Uber really wants us to use it. More and more, and I know it sounds like I'm turning into a cynic, and I apologize, but actually I don't apologize because I have to tell you what I believe. And I don't believe I'm the one that's changing. I think Uber is changing. They, they're, they're slowly pulling more and more and more away from us. 
One of the wonderful things that we had were incentives, bonuses, guarantees. As drivers, we could supplement our income. And now Uber is telling you, yeah, maybe not. So it, it goes through now to tell us all the things we can't do. Duplicate, sell, or transfer our referral code in any manner. Make it available to the general public, such as printing it on business cards, posting it on uh, uh, coupon websites, job websites, Amazon, eBay, Fiverr, Craigslist, Retail Me Not, Reddit, Wikipedia. The big one there, business cards. It's one of the strategies that I have suggested on multiple occasions that you use, and I know a lot of people use it. Now, I don't know how Uber is going to find this out unless they stumble across one of your cards. But why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't Uber want you to? Someone says to me, hey, I'd like to be an Uber driver. Fine, here's a card. This tells you exactly what to do. What in the world is wrong with that? The only thing I can see that's wrong with it is it means that Uber has to pay me something and I think Uber wants to discourage that practice. Uber wants to discourage me from making any more money than I absolutely have to. And that's regrettable. So you can't uh, duplicate, sell, transfer, try to get referrals, referees by spamming bulk emailing. All right. Use, display, or manipulate Uber intellectual property, such as Uber's logos, trademarks, and copyright protected works in any way except to identify yourself as an Uber user, Uber referral invite or refer inviter for Uber. That's the one we talked a little bit about during my live stream. Some other Uber tubers have been discussing this one. This is the one that scares me a little bit because this is the one that allows Uber to really take complete control of everything we do. Now I know people are saying, you're probably saying, I'm not an Uber tuber, what do I care? but it prevents you from doing all those other things to rather easily get, well, it's never easy, but more readily get referrals through things like putting the Uber logo on a business card or anywhere else. They are prohibiting us from using that. Now, in a way, I know that's coming from legal department. It's coming from protecting their brand, protecting their copyright, but they're coming down so hard on drivers. I, it's, it's almost like, like not, hey, folks, this isn't what you should do. It's, it's more like threats. Not only this isn't what you should do, but we're going to ban you, take you off the platform if you do anything like this. Now, here is the next one. And I know some people are arguing, with, and I shouldn't say arguing, disagreeing, but I, I think those people are wrong, and I'll tell you what I mean in a minute. Create or register any business URLs, domain names, software applications, names or titles, social media handles, or profiles that include the word Uber, hmm, like a YouTube channel that's called Uber Hints, like a website that's called uberhints.com, that include the word Uber or any of Uber's other trademarks. Now, this last part is important. Now, one of our friends, Uber Girl Paula, said, well, Uber Girl's my name. I can use Uber, but listen to this one. Or any words that are confusingly similar to Uber's trademarks. Uber Hints, Uber Girl, Uber This, Uber That, they are all perceived legally as being confusingly similar. Now, you might say, ah, I don't think so, Mark. Yeah, but you know what? Uber has deeper pockets than me, and they can take me to court over it. Even if they don't think they'll win, they're going to win by default because they can drag it through the court system and they know that poor old Mark doesn't have the money to go up against the giant. Using Uber's trademarks as your social media profile or wallpaper. So not only your profile picture, but wallpaper. So I cannot take the little Uber logo and use that as, you know, the, instead of the picture of, of, of my handsome mug, I can't take the Uber logo. You know, because that logo is so attractive. Right now, what's the logo? It's the word Uber, right? It's that word Uber, you know, in just plain block and sans serif letters. Who'd want to use that anyway? But you can't use it as graphics, photos, images, drawings, screenshots of Uber's website or app. So you know what that's saying? What I'm doing right now, I am going over the terms, but it's a screenshot from their app. Are they saying that this is illegal for me to do? You know, I'm just conveying what, what they sent out, right? And are they saying this is illegal? 
I don't know. It says you can't purchase keywords that contain any of Uber's trademarks. Now, a lot of this stuff may not be legally binding, but what it can do, it's, since it's their rules and regulations, it's enough to allow them to kick you off the system, right? Kick you off the platform. So even though they might not be able to sue you, they can legitimately prevent you from ever using Uber service. But you know, maybe it's time for people to stop using Uber service. Use automated systems or bots or any channel to distribute, post, or otherwise share your referral code. Make misleading claims about Uber. Use offensive, abusive contact. Create fake websites, web pages, social media. So I don't know what, what that really is implying. Um, some of those things may be where, you know, they, they create a page, they send out an email that sounds like it's coming from Uber when it isn't. I think that's what they're getting at. I think that's reasonable. Make false or misleading statements. Now, this next part, this encapsulates everything that is wrong about these rules. What it's saying now is regardless of what we said in the past, we can change it and deny you referrals based on our own whims. Referral rewards are discretionary, and the amount of a referral reward and the requirements to get it can vary from city to city and within a city. As a result, if your referee invitee signs up in a city that's different from yours, they may receive a different referral other than the one stated in your invitation. They may receive the offer available in their sign-up city. So we know that, right? This means you might end up with a different referral. But here's the big thing. Uber reserves the right to set a limit on the number of times you may use your referral code. The requirements for receiving and the amounts of the referral code are subject to change at Uber's sole discretion. Referral rewards in the form of Uber credits are not transferable, have no cash value, and may expire. So what they have just done with that statement is dismissed everything else. What they're saying basically is we don't have to, you have to abide by the rules, but we, Uber, doesn't have to abide by the rules. That's what they said, right? They're subject to change at Uber's sole discretion. And they may expire. I mean, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uber may update these rules at any time. If Uber makes an update, Uber will post the update on the Uber.com website. How often does the average driver go to Uber.com? I do because I look for stuff like this. I bet the average driver, once they're driving, they have no reason to go there unless they have a problem. So they're going to post to the website and that's all they're required to do. An application provide you with the notice of the update. Conti now listen to this one. Continued participation in any referral program after any update will mean that you have agreed to the update. So no longer do we have to say yes, give an initial push a button that says, I agree. The mere fact that I open up this app and use it means I've agreed to their terms. So that's it. I think they have really come down hard on drivers and riders here. And I'll bet most people, if it wasn't for channels like this and, and others like them, people wouldn't know about it. How often do you go and read your terms. Now, some people do. Some people do, granted. But uh, this is putting in so many restrictions and I'm, I'm very displeased with it. I'm very unhappy with it. As you know, um, I have been a champion of Uber. I have thought and I still continue to think it can be profitable for some people. I just got an uh, email today from uh, one of my viewers and said they're making between $17 and $18 an hour. They've been at it for only a couple of weeks. And I don't even think that includes their bonus. So they're feeling really happy about it. And that's good because that's really what we want. But I think by putting up barriers to all these other ways we can be profitable, you know, how is that saying we want to be good partners? We have something in place, but we want to put as many limits as we possibly can on it. I'd like to hear your opinions down below. As always, 
I love it when you opine, when you comment, when you share the videos and give me the thumbs up, and especially when you subscribe. But before we go, I have to show you this really cool part of my room. Will you look at that? I have a nice hot tub in the corner of my room and I can sit in there and look outside and enjoy the great outdoors. And right over there, there's even a shower head extension. Now I can be just like Biff Tannen. Well, maybe not just like Biff Tannen. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Mark with Uber Hints.